You know what? Thanksgiving is coming up, and you know what that means? Preparing the bombs for Black Friday. What? No, computer, it's food. And I don't know if you knew this, but I like food. It makes me feel good. Aren't you broke? How will you afford the food? I don't know. I mean, I can always go to Andy in his White Castle, but his obsession is becoming concerning. I mean, he posted a shirtless picture with the burgers covering his... You know, I just, I don't want to go near that. I have a doorbell? Hey everybody, it's me, the Burger King, here to give you all your wishes! Maybe I do want White Castle. Are you sure? Does White Castle have this? Whoa, it's a Burger King game! Maybe if you play all three, I'll give you a hefty feast. Well, that's an offer I can't refute. Wait, you said there was three? Yeah, out of all the fast food giants, Burger King was the one to really go all in on it. Don't get me wrong. Other fast food chains have made video games before. However, they never really went into the HD age of gaming. They were more prevalent within the wooden age of gaming, and even Burger King had a game on the Atari. However, they put their hats right back into the ring in late November 2006, where they put out three games for Xbox consoles. Originally, these games were just going to be Xbox Live downloadable games. However, Burger King thought that these were so high quality that they should release them physically. High quality, you say? Each game was $3.99, and you can only buy them at Burger King restaurants. Oh, no wonder why this thing's greasy. They bagged it up with the fries. Now, to be fair, if I do the math correctly... I need my calculator. That's about $12 for the whole package. Kind of a steal since games around this time were getting more high in price, but honestly, how good could a game be if it came from Burger King of all places? Their logo sucks! There's only one way to find out. Give up. Give up. On second thought, I do need my annual meal. Let's start with Sneak King. Now, believe it or not, these are not just for the Xbox 360. You can also play them on the original Xbox. Why? The Xbox 360 was out for over a year now, so I don't get it. It might have been a way to offer another way to play the game, you know, for all those Burger King fans. You're telling me I could play a Burger King on both my original Xbox and Xbox 360? Yeah! But it's not just playing the original Xbox games on the 360. There are different versions of each game for one disc. The Xbox 360 versions of the game are in HD with widescreen and all, and I don't get this. Other than that, the games are pretty much the same between each versions, and how are the games, by the way? They're just like Burger King itself. Not that good, but good enough. That's actually our slogan. Dirty dad, you get into my house! I closed the door on you! First up is Sneak King. This is the most well-known Burger King game out there, and of course it is. It's the most involved game, as it has a plot. I think, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Your goal is to sneak around and feed the hungry workers all Burger King essentials, like Whoppers and BK Joe Cups. You're not supposed to get caught, and if you are, the king just kinda goes, I don't fucking know, don't look at me. The point of the game is to complete missions that have you doing different objectives. It will have you doing all sorts of stuff, whether to build up a big chain, deliver from hiding spots, or just deliver the food in general. What's kinda messed up is that in order to gain more points, you have to make sure that the people are more hungry. But if you don't feed them, they will pass out. The king doesn't mess around. If you're not on the brink of starvation, he won't feed you. And even if so, his obsession to not be seen is above all. I wouldn't keep my life in the hands of the king. Well, you're ah! right to be. What makes this game not the best is that it's slow. You can't run that fast or else you'll get caught. And the game has a lot of waiting in it. Every time you feed someone, the king does a dance. And it takes an eternity from him to fucking finish. It's even longer when you complete a mission. <sighs> the game has the pacing of a snail, and while I feel like there are more locations I could unlock, I had enough 30 minutes in because who wants to sit through this? Not me, and certainly not the king because he's gone. I'm starting to think I hallucinated him out of hunger, but hey, that's nothing another Burger King game can't fix. How'd this get into my house? How about Big Bumpin' because it has a funny chicken on it? That you can play as! Hey, you, take notes. This is how you get a gamer's attention. Giant chicken in a bumper car. Yeah, this game is just bumper cars, and I will say, it's the most original game out of the three. It's actually really fun. There's a mode where you knock your opponents off an arena, and one where you pass a bomb around to your opponents. There are various power-ups you can get, and I have no clue what they do. Except this one. It speeds you up. The faster you are, the harder you bump. Like in the, in the bumper car. 
I'm, I'm slowly dying inside. But there's not much more to the game, except that it controls much tighter on the original Xbox version. I feel like I have more control on where my car is turning, whereas on the 360, it feels so slippery. However, that was the only difference I was really able to find between any of the game versions, including the last game, Pocket Bike Racer. Out of all the things to make a game out of Burger King, you chose a bike racer, a pocket bike racer. You put the bikes in your pocket. One more dad joke and I'm going to jail. I think they wanted this one to sell well. Because, well, there's a burger on a bike right here. Who doesn't want that? I love that. Give it to me, right now. This game perplexes me because the back kind of sells it really poorly. It's as if Burger King's the best thing in the world. Just look at this bullet point. The Burger King parking lot, because you've always wanted to race a tiny bike through the BK parking lot. Don't worry about the virtual employees. They'll enjoy watching you have it your way. Wait a minute, that phrase is copyrighted? Damn right Jesus, it is. could you not? I like how this game opens up with the king clearly on a green screen driving. I mean, the edges are just a garage he's filming in, and it's just, that's really funny to me. I like that kind of charm. To be fair, every game opened up with an FMV, and they all have their charm, but I think this one is the best. Oh man, look at all these Burger King characters from the Burger King lore we can play as. We got the king, Subservant Chicken, Whopper Jr., Winston, Christina, Biker, Jelly, and Brooke Burke, the TV personality. I have never seen any of these people in my life. Would you believe me if I said they all did this for a Whopper? No, I wouldn't. Well, you're right to be. I actually paid them in McRibs. How? Doesn't, doesn't McDonald's hate you? They do, but I took one of Ronald's kids and threatened to fry him in the onion rings if he didn't comply. Uh... This is an average racing game. You drive through these gates and you get the option to use some power-ups or speed boosts. It controls fine. Quite well, actually, but these tracks are so confusing. I feel like I don't know where I'm going half the time, and while the arrows are all over the place, I feel like they just blend in with the track. What's also weird is that the CPU racers will just stop in their tracks for no reason at all. It happened a couple of times, and it's kind of weird. I mean, this one is just okay. So what did you think? Pretty good games have almost nothing to do with our branding, but we still slapped it on there anyway. You do realize that sums it up quite perfectly. Three games that have nothing to do with Burger King, but they still decide to slap the product placement in there anyway. I will never know why they did this. It's not like these games are bad, but I wouldn't call them that great either. Would the world be fine if these things didn't exist? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a cool marketing campaign, making three games for the Xbox and Xbox 360 to play at home. Would I recommend them though? Would I say that you need to play these in your lifetime before you, you know, kick the bucket? No, but if you are interested in any way, yeah, go ahead. It's such an odd part of gaming and fast food history, and here it is. It's just right here in my house, on my floor. Why are you here? But who cares if they're here or not, because it's time for my annual feast, baby! Let's go! I still can't tell if he was real or not. So now what?